wouldn't love to perform at Carnegie Hall. Who doesn't want to be asked to bring their favorite music to the stage and have their favorite performers bring it to life? It was a dream come true in every way. For me, walking on the stage in Carnegie Hall, it's, I think it's the closest thing we have to like, you know, Madison Square Garden or, or walking onto Yankee Stadium. It's always really an interesting adventure to perform in there and to, you know, have your voice or your instrument kind of ring out in the room. Playing at Carnegie Hall was just kind of like a, almost like a little bit of a dream. The real people who were the heroes in this history were there and you have these acclaimed artists and thinkers that are, you know, talking about it, and then you have these performers that are adding their life to it, and then they're kind of breaking the fourth wall with the audience, and everything's very kind of... I uh, proceeded to read a lot about the migration. I didn't know that much about the migrations of the Americans of African descent coming up north, and the fact that I migrated from another part of the world also, so it was very symbolic to me to, to be part of this effort. It's something that, that touches me profoundly. There is this thing like the, all of the sound that's been in that space and, and the resonance that exists there. It's like walking into something that's gonna buoy you up. And I have to say there was nothing quite like it that I've experienced. You know, Jason and I have seen so many epic performances on that stage. I think in a way we felt at home on the stage in our own memories. Two Wings is a journey in itself, period. And as we moved to the Kennedy Center, then we okay, drove a different flock down there, right? A smaller cast, but then the stories could then have more space to breathe. So here we are, bringing the Great Migration, the story or the sound of the Great Migration, to the Kennedy Center, which is also a destination for much of the Great Migration, too. And this was a perfect kind of opportunity for us to really marry the idea of history and its impact on the music. And that our audience also shows up with their ancestors, bearing their ancestors' fruit and burdens. So I feel like Two Wings delivered me from a fog about where are your people from. The biggest leap was to go to Hamburg, Germany at a beautiful concert hall called the Elbe. Going to Germany, I thought would be a really big challenge. In the sky, you know. Except that they know so much about our music so broadly, and they are very studied in American history. It was a pleasure to feel that we were filling in the cracks with real bodies. But now the, also the audience sits around us. And that was deep, that we bring that story to Germany. And now the last stop of this year is Chicago, another enormous uh, train stop for the Great Migration. And each of these spaces, you know, generates a different conversation. And that's what's been most exciting about it. Seems to find its landing pad there. I remember the first rehearsal, hearing how it was all brought together, I was absolutely blown away and just so proud. 